sorry, the one I was recording for my YouTube went off. I'm not about to use this for no blending brush because this is pretty large for me and I feel like it's gonna go all over. I'm about to use this for a highlighter brush. That's definitely what I'm gonna use this brush for. So this is my new highlighter brush. So they said it's a 250 large eye blending brush. This is a 250 small highlighter brush is what I'm gonna change the name to it to. Then they gave you a 246 precision crease cut brush. So this is for like the little small crease cuts. So anyway, they're so cute, I love them. They're like the little wooden, they're real cute. So let me tell you my funny story real quick while I'm applying this mask. And y'all watch me apply this mask, I'll tell y'all my story about my brushes. So I'm so obsessed with brushes, I refuse to open them. This is literally, I'm so surprised with myself that I'm about to dirty this up and put a green clay mask on my pretty brush. I have them still in wrappers that I refuse to like take them out of wrappers. I have, like I said, this Luxie brush set that I got from them before. These are so pretty. Um, I wouldn't even open them out of the package. And I gotta stop doing that because I don't be having no brushes to use. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what these look like. These are ombre, pink and orange ombre. So I refused to like use these because of how pretty they were. So they're brand new. I haven't used them before. This is definitely what I do for my blush brush. I might use that a little bit. It's a little smaller than the uh, other blending brush, like I said, but not too often. I dropped my other brush. So anyway, and then another uh, crease brush. So I do have those. I'm gonna have to use them because that's crazy of me to be ordering all this stuff and don't wanna use it because I think it's too pretty to use. <coughs> <coughs> Tell them I'll call them back, whoever it is. <coughs> it's summertime, so the kids are at home. So anyway, I got one more. Uh, one more I'm gonna show you. One more uh, brush I'm going to show you after I start putting this on. So it's a green clay mask. And you just apply it generously. It smells like a spa. Like, I watch so many people do tutorials on this. Uh, on this right here, just alone. And I was so excited to get this product last night when I got my box. I immediately put it on. It was just so great to me. I don't know why, but it was. It smells so fresh. I love a clay mask. If I'm gonna do a mask, I normally like a scrub, but. If I don't have a scrub, I'm really not into the cleansers and stuff because I don't have real oily skin or dry skin. My skin's pretty good, like I said in the last video. So if I want to scrub, I want it so I can get like my blackheads or something out because I don't really have issues with my skin. So anyway, they say you put this on, leave it on to dry for about 10 minutes. Then they want you to get a damp cloth. All right, I'll call back. Thank you. All right. So anyway, um, this brush done really good and it didn't get all nasty. I'm sorry, I'll clean them afterwards. But um, okay. So it's leaving like a, a refreshing feeling. I feel a little tingle when I watch some of the other tutorials that other people done. They wasn't feeling a tingle. They said that some people told them it was, but they wasn't feeling it. I do feel a tingle, so they may do their faces more than I do, but I do feel a tingle. So anyway, if y'all wanna try this, like I said, it's the Elemis Veggie Food Mask, and that's real cool. So I tried my brush out along with that. These brushes are super soft. I'm definitely gonna use this as my mask brush from now on, because like I said, I don't use it for foundation. I use my um, big brush like this. So, as this sits on here for about 10 minutes and dries, you'll know because like it'll kind of disappear on your face. I'll go through the other products and I'll set this to the side so that I can wash that when I'm done. But while I'm doing that, let me tell you about this last brush real quick. 
So you'll have to go on my YouTube and look at the other videos, but I do these videos every month for my um for my boxy charm. And a couple months ago, they gave me these Moto brushes. They came in this kind of packaging, and they gave me this powder brush, and they gave me like a glow brush, which I guess I've been using it as my highlighter brush. But like I said, I'm gonna start using that other one because I'm not big on like the real soft ones being the highlighter because I don't think it forms enough pressure for me. So anyway, these were so soft. I wish you could just like feel this through the computer or the phone. It would be so wonderful. They were so soft, I didn't want to use them. This was the first brushes I got up in the box. So, um, what do I use to clean my brushes? Okay, so I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to clean brushes. And go grab that big red thing up at the top of that um, cabinet for me, inside of the plate cabinet. Grab the big red jar at the top. So what I do is I'll put all my brushes up in um, my big red jar. I'm about to go get my baby to go grab for me real quick. And um, they say put a, like one or two little dabs of your Dawn dishwashing liquid. And, you know, try to make it Dawn. I've had to use palm olive in the, in the past or whatever, but try to make it Dawn. And then boil you some water. The very first one, the plate one. Boil you some water and um, put all your brush. Yeah, no, the other one, the first one. And you boil your water, you mix it in there with the Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then after that, what you're gonna go ahead and do is, um, I put a little uh, rubbing alcohol or peroxide, one or the other, but one of those cleaning forms is what I'll put up in there and mix it in there. It's all right, don't worry about that. And um, pick it up when you're through, that big red one, yeah. And so uh, anyway, so like I said, I'll put a little bit of, Yes, a couple dabs of Dawn dishwashing liquid. I'll put in either some peroxide or some rubbing alcohol, whichever one, not a lot, just a little bit, just to like put a little cleaning solution in there. And then I put really, really hot water, like I boil my water on the stove and then pour it up in my little container. Let me see. This is my container I use. So I'll, like I said, I'll put my Dawn dishwashing liquid in here. I'll put my rubbing alcohol is what I usually use. I use some peroxide if I'm out of my alcohol or whatever, just because of the cleanliness or whatever, sterilization, I should say. And then I'll fill it up with the boiling water. And then I'll do as so, and then just fill. It even fits my big brush. I just kind of fill it all up with all my brushes. I ain't gonna put that one in because it's dirty. But anyway, that's how I clean my brushes. So anyway, long story short, that's why I looked up that procedure for how to really clean your brushes real good because my blend, I mean my glow brush that I got in here, this one, my son picked it up, the one that just helped me. He's all nosy. He goes and gets my red lipstick and puts it all over my brush and soaked it down. So I have refused to use this big powder brush because my other one got destroyed. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop doing that and I'm going to use my brushes because they're too cute not to use. So like I said, I've got this Moto brush I've yet to use. My Luxie brush set right here. This one I haven't even taken out of the container because it's just so pretty. It's like sparkly. <coughs> um, and then now my new Luxie brushes that I just got, which I've used one of them so far. And I'm gonna use the other ones today because I got an eyeshadow palette I'm gonna show y'all that I'm so excited about. So, like I said, as you can see, the mask is like drying into your skin. That's how you can tell kind of whenever um, it's time. Like I said, it's about 10 minutes. But once it dries all into your face and you no longer see like the product anymore, how you see it going away, then it'll be time. They say to do it with a dark cloth. So, I grabbed me a dark cloth. And the reason why they say do a dark cloth is because it'll stain your white clothes, supposedly. Hello. So, um, <laughs> so... I got a dark cloth and it's sitting there ready for my 10 minutes. So anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna go through the rest of the contents of my box real quick, but I wanted to tell you about um, the moisturizer, I mean the uh, cleanser I've been using before I got this veggie mask in today. I got this uh, Glam Glow cleanser. I got this probably about a month or two ago and I've been using it. It's almost completely gone because I use it almost every night. But um, this is what I've been using. But like I said, I don't like cleansers because this is like, which is real pretty. It's like pearly color. It is so pretty. I really love it. And um, But it's just like a soap. It's like some Dove soap to me or whatever. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, like do what I want it to do. I either want a scrub or I want a mask like this that's going to do something. I don't want like a cleanser. That's just me. So anyway. Um, I have been using this uh, Glam and Glow, and I will say that as far as a cleanser, I like it pretty good. It's all right, 
but um, I wouldn't go out and buy a cleanser, especially for $28. All these things are like $20 and $30 just for these cleansers. So, okay, we went past the Luxie brush set. I also didn't tell you the price of that. This Lexi brush set right here for this three-piece set is just is $30 alone, just for this three-piece brush set. So these brushes right here pay for your box. Like I said, it costs $21 for this uh, makeup box that I get, and these brushes alone have paid for the box, let alone the $30 uh, Elemis mask that I got. So I got the mask and the uh, brushes so far. So next, we're going to go on to... I'll go on to the lip gloss because the reason I'm going to go on to this, I'm not putting this on for you today. And I will tell you why. They keep sending me these mother freaking pink uh, lip glosses. I don't know how many pink lip glosses they want a woman to have. And they keep sending me the same brand. Now, let me tell you something. I understand everybody has their PR and they want to send people the stuff that they want to send it to. But let me tell you something. The people that actually pay for their stuff should get the better stuff before PR. Now, that's just my personal opinion. Now, I know that they want these people to talk good on them. So, they're going to send them their best price, uh, their best products. But that's bullshit that I'm getting the end of the uh, ring shit here. Like this Ofra lip gloss. Now, I'm not going to talk shit about Ofra because they have a really good lip gloss. Because, I mean, it is long last. And it says long last and lip liquid lipstick so this is a liquid lipstick too and i mean they are super pretty it really is but it's like i'm not never gonna freaking use this color i'm not i am a neutral i am a brown i am all of that hunty i am not no hot mother freaking pink on your lips okay when i do a bold lip i'm gonna do a red i'm not gonna do this purple pink shit okay excuse my language but i'm not and it's really aggravating me and the reason why it's aggravating me, they've already sent me one before. Look at the one they've sent me. They've sent me this one before. They've now sent me this one. They literally sent me one other that I think somebody's done stolen because I can't find it. But I remember it was my very first one because when I received this one, I was like, that's almost the same shade. So I've gotten three of these freaking Ofra lipsticks that are like almost the same freaking color. Where's the label for it? It's almost like the same freaking color, okay? Then, not only that, they threw me in a, uh, is it Bosi, something like that? But, I mean, the freaking color is almost the same. Where is it? Where is this? Here. Look, y'all. Look. What am I going to do with all this damn pink lipstick? Look at this that they sent me. Now, this looks real pretty. I feel like if I would use any one of them out of the three, it would be this. Probably because of the, um, the container. Look how pretty. It's like, got a glass thing going on at the end. And it's more like reddish, like, look, look y'all, what am I going to do with all these fucking colors? They're the same. They're the same. Don't bullshit me. They are the same. So, so far I have received all three of these colors. What's the difference y'all? What's the difference? It ain't none. So I'm aggravated with them and their lipsticks. I purposely went in yesterday, redone my quiz just to make sure that they weren't sending me pink lipsticks. And I didn't even have pink lipsticks selected. I had nudes selected. So that's why I feel like they're sending their PR all the best shit. And then when it gets time to start sending out the people that actually paid for their shit, they want to send us all these little extra bullshits that don't nobody like. So the, anyway, that that made me mad yesterday when I saw they gave me this freaking Ofra lipstick. That's the old one, but they're all the same. It don't matter. This Ofra lipstick don't matter. They're all the freaking same. Maybe like a hair shade of difference in the color. Look there. Look. I'm get my little rag and wipe that off. But anyway, so that's got me pretty dang depressed. I will tell you that about my lipstick. Let me take that off real quick while we're waiting on my little mask to dry. I'm going to take that off too. Well, honey, I will tell you what. That Glam Glow got that straight on off, didn't it? That red lipstick. So we're going to say this do pretty good, even though I don't like cleansers. So while I finish taking my little mask off, I'll go ahead. And like I said, I told you about the um, lipstick already. I'm not going to put that one on at all. So I'll try a different lip when I get down to that point. I may not even put my foundation on because I just cleaned my face, but I've got to try out this eyeshadow palette with y'all. Okay. 
So, I'm gonna leave the eyeshadow palette for last because it's my favorite. Oh yeah, this lipstick, by the way, is $20. This lipstick they keep sending me that I hate. $20 lipstick right here. So they need to make better purposes for my freaking $20 because they had something called um, Alamar, I think is the name of it. Alamar Lip Gloss. Or, um, and they had different shades. They had a whole bunch of pretty neutral shades and like browns and um, nudes and stuff. And that's really what I wanted. So anyway, after doing that mask, it feels really clean. Like I said, I've done it last night, so my face was already pretty clean. Um, but it, it does. It makes me feel very, you know, fresh. And um, it leaves like that uh, cucumberish type smell behind, like a real cucumber smell. So I would say this LMS Seafood Mask, I would, I would get it again because I like how it's got my skin going. So all right, now that I took my mask off, let's go ahead and um, move on. The one product in the box I am also upset. All right, so I'm not happy about my lipstick. Like I said, this is a uh, this is a no no for me. So I'm not liking that. And the other thing I'm not liking, they sent me lashes, y'all. I'm so po'd. You just don't even know. Like of all the things in the world they could have sent me, they sent me some freaking lashes. I sell lashes. I don't want you to send me lashes. Then they're not even like mink. They are like vegan eyelashes. I think they said it's from Lashaholics Inst Instaglam False Eyelashes. Elevate your eye look with your new Lashaholic lashes. These 100% vegan falsies made from premium silk fibers give your lash dimensions natural looking length and volume. They are short as hell. Let me tell you. They are short. Now, it's in a very pretty box. Look at the box it's in. I'm not going to hate on the box or nothing. It's like all glittery and stuff. I'm loving the box they sent it in. But the lashes I sell are way prettier than this. Let me see. They're just really, they're cute. And this, it actually makes it look longer than what they are. But I'm probably not going to wear these because if I, these are the same length as mine. I got pretty long eyelashes already as it is when I put my uh, mascara on. So, I mean, when I put some on, I got to have me some minks, honey, that's sitting out there. So, anyway, I'm not going to probably wear those lashes either. Probably um, save them or whatever and use them when I do somebody's makeup or something. I don't know. Same thing with these. I mean, I guess that's all I can do with these. Just use them if somebody ever comes and wants a freaking pink lip. Because I've got 30,000 freaking pink lipsticks now with all these freaking things. So, that's aggravated me. Last but not least is the eyeshadow palette, y'all. Look. This is the eyeshadow palette I received. It is from Butter London. So, I am so excited about this. And I'll tell you why. I read so many reviews and I watched so many YouTube uh, tutorials on it and Butter London is supposed to be like a very good um, like pigmentation. They said it's like like butter. They say you can like cut it with a knife like butter. It's not looking that way to me. I'm not looking that way at all. But anyway, here are the colors. So I'm really excited. This is called, all right, this is called Femme Fatale, the green color, like the teal green color. This is called Temptress, this dark chocolate brown. This is Diva, this gold color. The green is called Star. That's the color I was most excited about was this green and this little teal color because um, I don't have those in no palette yet. I have a lot of these neutral colors because that's pretty much all I've been receiving is neutral palettes, but it's still pretty. And this is queen. This is like a rose gold color. Queen. And then enchantress is like mm, a brownish. So they are so pretty. I wanted to swatch a couple for you because I'm not real big on doing my eyes in front of people, but I'm going to try. But I don't have none of my other face mask stuff really here with me. I, I don't know if I showed y'all this. This is Alamar too, like the lip gloss that I wanted um, that I didn't wind up getting this month. But this was their Alamar face palette that I got. And I was loving it. 
I think I showed y'all this last month, but the Alamar Cosmetics. It's a blush trio. So anyway, I really like that. I've been loving my Alamar products. I think it's a girl named Gabby. She may be like a, um, a YouTuber or something like that. But anyway, so I'm not going to try that. Um, let me see what I'm going to try. Okay, so I, let me swatch this for you. Y'all want which blushes? You have the Alamar? You, um, do you get these in BoxyCharm or did you just buy this? Or you get BoxyCharm too? Uh, Crystalline. I haven't tried it yet because, um, they sent me a Cover FX palette a couple months ago, and um, I've been using that Cover FX palette pretty much for my everyday because it's got like, um, it's got a powder, it's got a bronzer, it's got um, the contour, and it's got, uh, it's got pretty much everything. So I've been using that uh, Cover FX palette for a while. So I haven't actually tried those blushes, but I love the packaging, and I'm loving the Alamar or whatever, and I've heard a lot of people um, talk positive about her. So I may start to kind of look into her. So anyway, I still got my two brushes I'm gonna try. So let's see here. Let's swatch some of this first and see how it's gonna look. So let's go Film Fatale, Film Fatale, Temptress, Diva, Star and Queen. Okay. So anyway, that's cool. I want to try something. Let's see here. What am I gonna try? I got my eyebrows done or nothing. Talking about playing into my eyeshadow. Let me see if I can find my eye stuff. Real oh, here's my Cover FX palette. Look. All right. So the reason I haven't been um, using the Alamar yet is because I got this Cover FX palette not too long ago, and um, it comes with pretty much every freaking thing. So I've been using this as like my day to day when I put makeup on. Cause normally I'm walking around like this. So, um, and then like I said, this Tarte has been one of my favorite uh, palettes I've been using because it's pretty neutral and I'm a pretty neutral person unless I'm going somewhere. So these were, um, these were them. They're all shimmers though. Apparently nobody likes shimmers but me. So, uh, I'll take them. Tarte sent out like literally the same palette last month in the boxy charms, but they were the uh, mattes instead of the um, shimmers. I was like, well, who didn't like shimmer? That's crazy. Okay, so let's see here. I guess I'll go on and do my little makeup here. All right, I'm gonna also talk about my no problem primer. I talk about that every time I come on here. This is my freaking life right here. Can't nobody tell me nothing when it comes to this freaking primer let me tell you something it feels like it feels like heaven it's like so moussey and creamy so i love that primer I have literally not found a primer that beats this one yet. No problem primer. Remember that, honey. No problem primer. Pink. Touch and soul. It's perfect. I love it. What's in here? Let's see what we're going to find here. Let's see what we're going to find. Oh, this is my makeup brush. I grabbed the wrong bag. There's more makeup brushes, y'all. This is the one my kids soak down up in, um, I use for my highlighter. My kids soak this one down up in pink lipstick, or oh, red lipstick, one of them. Okay, well, this ain't about to help me. 
This ain't about to help me. I grabbed the wrong one. I thought this was the stuff for my face. Oh, oh crap. I don't got my eyeliner. I mean, my uh, eyebrow pencil. Brow definer. Luckily, let me tell you something about these boxes. They are wonderful. I've been wanting to try this anyway. I got this one. Um, I got this one not too long ago too. Comes with the spoolie on the end and the. Uh, it's kind of like an incline. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes on so creamy and soft. So I like that. I have a very hard time matching my eyebrows. So. Mine are pretty full already, so I don't really be having to do much to them, luckily, because I don't really know how to do my eyebrows too much. That's the one thing I'm not too, I'm not too fond of doing. So we'll see what we can do. I'll try and create a look with this little eyeshadow real quick if I can. probably use that because I'm gonna try to uh, create me like a little mermaid look here with all this so we, sh we shall see we shall see Let's see what we can pop off over here y'all all right so like I said I don't have all my stuff in front of me I'm just work with what I got over here hunty I'm not even about to be bothered have my foundation with me so I'm gonna just throw this little finishing powder on real quick. I don't know why I didn't grab the right bag. I grabbed my bag with all my brushes instead. I don't feel like walking all the way to the back. My eyebrows looking dark. I've really got to get this shit together. So, anywho, let's see here. I'm just throwing a little something on my face real quick just so I can throw my eyeshadow on and it don't look too bad. Why is he crying, Kennedy? Give him his bottle. This is not how I do it, y'all. Don't be thinking this is how I be doing it. I just 
wants a little something on the face so it's not completely bare. And I'm trying to put my uh, eyeshadow on and I don't look all crazy. Kennedy, what's going on? Give him his bottle. Or bring him over here. Let him be over here by me. He'll get entertained. He get bored. I got one of them babies want to be held all day. I may have to come back if he don't stop. Bring him over here to me. Okay, let's see here. I don't even got my highlighters or nothing over here, y'all. This face is just going to have to be what it is. I'll grab one of these highlighters from here just because I wanted to use um, this little brush real quick. Mm. I might have lied. This might not be big enough for the highlighter brush. I'll see it peeking. Here. Okay, it's peeking. It's there. It's there. I'm just trying to mess with this little eyeshadow palette real quick. That's all. Alrighty. So let's see here. What was I wanting to do? I'm going to create like the um. Alrighty, let's see here. What we about to twerk with? What we about to twerk with? Let's see. I don't got my concealer or nothing, dear Jesus, help me. I did not come prepared. So let's... We're gonna go in with. Temptress. We're going to go in with the dark brown here. Where is it? With this dark brown. Temptress. And I'm wanting to pop that. I'm wanting to do that blue today. I put them in in fatal. Okay, well you barely got to put any on there, honey. And it puts itself right there. So. That's... No room for error right there, baby. It packs on. Okay. Yes, honey, it packs on that powder, don't it?
looking cute, looking cute. That's what I'm saying. I ain't got no concealer. I ain't got nothing over here by me. I'm talking about doing a video. Well, I'm liking it. This ain't the color scheme I was going with here, but I'm liking it. I don't know why that box would be making it look so purple and then it shows up like gold.
I'm loving it. to try this little green out, which is kind of... Okay. Well, this is the look that that eyeshadow palette gave me and I am very pleased with it. Could use a little bit more blending. Oh, thank you, babe. And I'm loving it. Mama, right here. I don't have half of my products here, but. Mama. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we got it all done today. Give me y'all's feedback and I'll post my full edited video underneath for the comments after I post it on YouTube. Thank you for watching. You want to post that on YouTube? Give me a thousand to watch. If you post that on YouTube every day, Yes.